Hey guys, so I have a really busy week this week, which means I don't have time to do my normal proper Aphrodite setup. But I do want to talk about the topic of this video. So I thought instead of doing it at my house, like I normally do, uh, we could just talk about these things as I go throughout my day, if that's okay with you. So um, look, I just did the school drop off. The boys are happy. Their classes have just started, which means it's now time for me to go to work. Are you going to come with me? Is that cool? All right, let's go. After that, 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 that okay, cool. So here's the thing. A lot of my friends have either been having babies or have announced that they're about to become dads. And that is very exciting. There's like babies everywhere. But I have noticed something really disturbing. Uh, a lot of my friends have put out announcements saying, hey, don't come by unannounced once the baby arrives. Don't pick up the baby if you are there with us. And definitely do not kiss the baby. But that's not the disturbing thing. Okay, so I'm at my office and there's always a lot of noise because Ish over there, can you see him? There's he. He's uh, doing some gardening early on. The Hardy dogs are going nuts. So when I go into the office at like nine, it's just me and Kulosa. Hi. She's cleaning, so I better not disturb her. She gets upset with me if I get in the way. Which means I have time for a quick cup of coffee outside. So the thing that I find really disturbing is actually how people have responded to those announcements. So a lot of people have said things like, just try and stop me or you best believe I'm gonna kiss that baby. What's going on people? Mm. That's too hot. So I get it, you think those parental requests are super crazy. But they're still the parents, surely they have a right to decide how their child is going to be treated, especially in those first critical few weeks. And now you're trying to like insert yourself into their story. It's a bit weird, isn't it? And I know what you're thinking, where the hell does Terrence work? Well, in a little bit of paradise, quite lucky. I'm not gonna lie, this place is awesome. But you might also be thinking, hey, you know, this child's really important to me too. It might be my grandson or my granddaughter or my niece or nephew or it could be the child of a very close friend of mine. I'm involved in the story. I'm part of the community. Surely I get some rights too. And the answer to that is legally, no you don't. And in any other way, no you don't. I mean guys, we know that parent is hard enough without having other people second guess every decision you go to make. I mean, this will make things more confusing for these new parents. Still hot. Those parents do actually have a really good point because our mouths are really dirty, like they're covered in germs and now you're taking those illnesses and putting them on a baby that might have a very low immune system. You can actually make the baby really sick. And that's a very big thing for a new parent to think about. Remember, they're at their most anxious. Okay, so it's after lunchtime, so time for another cup of coffee. But uh, earlier today I asked, you guys on social media what you thought about the idea of parents telling people not kiss their babies or hold their babies and overwhelmingly almost everyone other than like one person agreed that if the parents don't want you to kiss their baby you shouldn't kiss their baby uh, and a lot of them have the exact same reasons because there's disease and you can make the baby really sick and you want to start teaching the baby about consent very early on those are all good reasons but also I think we want to make sure that parents feel as in control as they can be, right? Like, we wanna make sure that they know that they're in charge and they are the parents. Because I mean, let's face it, people go through a lot to get a baby, whether it's physically growing the baby in your womb for nine months or going through paperwork or helping your wife or partner through everything that happens through pregnancy. There's, there's a lot of anticipation and anxiety and physical pain that happens with getting a baby, getting a new baby in the family. And it's kind of weird for me that people who didn't go through any of that for this new life to arrive in the family to make demands, right? That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. That being said though, there is one other point of view that I think we have to consider. But I have to get back to work, so chat later. Okay, work day is done and now it's time to leave the office and pick up the boys because that's the kind of day I have. Okay, so we're finally all home. Hi, boys. Hi. Uh, I just already loomed them over. 
the grass is all short behind. Yeah, that's right. So the first thing we did when we came home was cut the grass yeah, yeah. and do some gardening because we want to make sure our garden looks nice and pretty. Yeah. Uh, we're getting there. But uh, the thing that I think we need to start thinking about is also what does it mean to parent in a community, Dad, right? Can I talk? What do you want to say, Eli? I, I made a fire. He made and a fire. I made a fire. Where did you make a fire? In my sand pit. But, but you can't go near it without you'll get burned. Is it an imaginary fire? Yeah, no, it's a normal fire. It's a normal fire. Okay. We a, need a, a, a huge fire. We're going to need to check on that. So, no, here's the thing. It's a normal fire. Is it, not, is it real? No, it's just pretend. Yeah, so those guys are quite disruptive. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to say was that we really have to think about what it means to parent in a community, right? Because if you're going to alienate everyone by saying, no one can hold my child, no one can kiss my child, no one even look at my child, then you can't really expect them to help you when you... Yes, Eli? Say hi. Hi. I'm just Okay. I've got, got a goal post. Where's the trampoline? I've got a little one. Okay, we've got lots of cool stuff in our, in our garden, hey? And a sandpit. And a sandpit. Okay, can I finish talking to the people? So, what is my point? I think two points. Number one, respect the parents' wishes. If they say, I don't want people doing X to my baby, don't do that thing to their baby. But point number two is that if you are a new parent, the people who are most excited to kiss your baby and hold your baby and interact with your baby are the same people that are going to be helping you when you need it most. So you don't want to push them away too much. So maybe be a bit nicer about the way you tell people, hey, don't touch that child. Show the people how you jump, Eli. Jump around. Jump around. Jump. Jump. Let's see. Let's see your, let's see your skills. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I guess if you're unsure, you should just ask the parents. If you don't know if they are okay with you kissing their baby or holding their baby or throwing their baby in the air, ask them and respect whatever their answer is. Now, what's this trampoline made out of? It's made out of trampoline things. Thank you so much for watching this very disjointed video. Uh, the next one will resume with normal programming. <sighs> it's been a crazy, crazy week. I'm just this trick. Show them a trick. Show me the trick. Was, was that the trick? Okay, say bye.